Plant Cut Metal World. It's Saturday, May 18, 2019. I got a butcher and a cleaver knife here. I make out a W2 steel. The Rocco Harkness between 64 and 65. The sharpening angle is 18 degrees per side. Thickness behind the edge at the sharpening bevel is 15 tau. One eighth of an inch up from the edge is 29 tau. Oh, one quarter inch up from the edge is 45 tau. And this edge is fairly sharp. Uh, I think it's more than a cleaver because you know, this is fairly, I mean, it's thin, so that will support less butchering, so you can do slice cut. And so for if it was a cleaver, you, know, you wouldn't want it to be so sharp or any, so, but, and uh, so that you can uh, do more like a blunt or impact. But this will do the slice. It's too sharp for that, but I mean, for being a cleaver, if you were going to cut, I used this to cut, uh, you know, prepare dinner last night, cut vegetable and chopping meat and mincing meat and all like that. So they do a lot of both cutting ball contact and this was the edge steel. And so um, there are a lot of the bark, I mean the heated bark because I had to strain this edge out as so, so I mean the blade out. So what I'm looking for is um, how much abuse in terms of excessive, say butchering or you know, and cleavage, uh, cleave I mean cleaving um, bone and for this geometry and this kind of knife um, you wouldn't be you want to say go to chicken or maybe pork bone so I'm going to uh, do abuse, that means an inappropriate tool, a job. And I found this at the uh, grocery store um, two days ago. It's a big hip bone, I believe, a cow hip bone for for pet. So, and this looks like some of the uh, the joint here, the uh, socket, and this is the bone. So this has been dried out, so I think the dry bone is a lot more brittle and harder than, say, a fresh. So if you do butchering and, or cutting some of the bone, you're going to do, go to go to the raw or fresh, which is it, it, uh, a lot more flexible. But this is more brittle. But so. Are you going to treat this one more than your bone contact here? I'm going to just go to, and this is from the marrow in here, so they all breed up. So, and the hand would look and see if we have any gross damage on this edge or not. I might speed up some of the uh, chopping. Are you going to just go through it? Getting harder part here, so but I'm initially it was the easiest you can. So that part of the uh, socket here. Oh, I didn't want the socket to come out, but it came out. Oh, too hard. 
I'm breaking something here. Um, when yeah, you know, this thing right now they do chopping through rather than crushing it through, like some of the cleaver job would do. So I expect damage on this edge, but here we go. Oh, okay, they hit me. So they definitely the hard part here, but not super hard. This is more the challenging part right here. This one. This mess. <laughs> okay, so go into the crunchy and hard part. That take. Um, it bend the edge so yeah this part right here I'm going to maybe using the toilet heel it's a big smack you going to do I mean, the edge strength is not enough. I mean, to, to go through this really hard part. I mean, this is the cow and put uh, a lot of weight on this bone. So, compress this really high density bone here. So, again, I'm looking for gross failure. I think these are, you know, a row, and they row really when they go way, way too much. And this is, again, let's call it 64 plus Rockwell hardness. And so I think when it bend far enough, that I think this right here maybe, and then it would chip away. Even the steel is really soft and you know, like an anvil or something you can mushroom over to set a mouth beyond that they will fall off I mean, so uh, when they can no longer necking or stretching for any further but as uh, you can see here it's just a massive So we can, you know, talking about it, I mean, whether the test is silly to, for this net to do the job uh, to figure out the you know, capability of the steel, you know, to take it to, yeah, deformation and then to a fracture right here, I think. Or maybe I look at further, it might not even, yeah, it, it, it fall off, that piece fall off right there. So for your normal use, first of all, if it, this one was a, a, a raw or fresh bone, uh, it wouldn't be so brittle and it wouldn't be so hard. But again, if you were going to chop through this kind of bone, I think you need the uh, behind the edge thickness would be more on the uh, 30 tile area. 
and you want and I think the uh, sharpening angle I mean you should use about 20 dps or even 25 if you go to chop to this type if you chop to this end it wouldn't be that hard and so wouldn't be that hard so and even that you can see I mean go to that end there they're not a problem right there all right well thanks for watching